think it's absolutely mandatory. Not necessarily that you have to go and compete um, in world championships, but uh, competition not necessarily means joining a federation. Competition just means that you're joining something or being active in something that pushes you against someone else. As I said earlier, um, having a competitor, having an adversary, having yeah. someone at neck and neck with you is absolutely essential because it just allows you to push, push uh -huh. yourself past what you could possibly have done in yourself. Uh, honestly, if I work out on my own, mm -hmm. uh, I know my body is so much more capable uh, of, of what I give it credit for, and even if I try really, really hard, uh, and I compare that with uh, someone, uh, like just even having a friend that runs with me, I know just having that extra motivation to push myself, but also having that support. Support is so, so fundamental in training, knowing that you have people around you to help you and bring you to the finish line. I absolutely uh, believe that it's, it's, it's paramount to an athletic, athletic um, performance. And your thoughts on today's event that we saw a lot of people from different mm -hmm. ages, different sizes, yeah. who take part in what Under Armour is doing. So your thoughts on that? I love it. I, I, I honestly think there should be these activities every single day. Um, not just for Under Armour, but for what Under Armour believes in, which is that anyone, no matter what shape or size, wherever they're from, what denomination, um, no matter who they are, they have everything that they need. They can be completely capable of, of just pushing their boundaries and, and, and discovering what their bodies are actually capable of. Today was a perfect example for that. Uh, we had people from all over, uh, many people who weren't really proficient in uh, fitness or nutrition, but they got a little taste of it. Uh, and what's great is that we had all these people around and that support, that energy, the fact that all these people are cheering you on, it's a great way to start and be inspired into whatever sport or whatever motivation you're looking for just to try and, and, and really be fit uh, and be healthy and just be the best that you can be. Hi, Ella. Hi. Can you share to us uh, your go-to diet plan? Uh, yeah. Go-to diet plans, uh, that, that's kind of a gray area for me. Um, I've got different sessions or different different periods in my in my training, whether I'm building up or, or cutting down. Depends on what I'm training for. The way I would eat if I'm just trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle while I'm traveling is completely different from what I eat if I'm trying to do an obstacle course race or if I'm trying to do a marathon. And the same thing goes to when I speak to clients or try to speak to other people. I never say this is the diet. Honestly, it it completely depends on the person. Uh, you have to find something that works with yourself. We are so beautifully created that not two, no two of us are exactly the same. We are different, we are unique. And so it's up to us, it's our responsibility to find exactly what's best for our bodies. Um, what I can say that uh, is applicable to everyone is to just eat as clean as possible. Honestly, now, um, with everything, the, uh, with technology and the way the um, farming industry is, has grown, uh, we have no idea what we're eating. Uh, if I can just give any tip, of course organic, I understand that it's very expensive and a lot of people can't um, afford to eat organic, but just eating uh, food that you know exactly what is in it um, and, and making sure that you, you just make sure that whatever you put in your body, remember your fitness doesn't just depend on your physical ability. Anything you put in your body is going to affect your performance and it stays there, it stays with you. Um, it's not like an iPhone that once it breaks down, you can go to the store and, and get a new one. This is, this is the only thing you got. This is the life that, this is the body that you're with uh, and that you're stuck with for life. And it's your responsibility and it's a great joy and privilege to be able to take care of it and, and test it and see what it's really capable of. How about your mindset? How do you approach every workout? Every workout, honestly, it's difficult because they say, well, I don't feel like working out. I'll let you guys on a little secret. I don't feel like working out either. Um, <laughs> everyone's got that struggle. But over time, what I've realized is in order to grow, in order for wonderful things, wonderful technicolor things to happen in your life, struggle is so important. Sometimes it's not even your the medal or the finish line that's the most important. It's the struggle that you're overcoming that makes you who you are, that lets you realize what you're made of. So as far as mindset, I walk into the studio, the gym, uh, the mat, wherever I am, and I look to struggle. Honestly, if I'm not struggling, I'm not growing, I'm not discovering new things. Um, and yes, the struggle, it's uncomfortable, uh, but it's, it's, it's a good thing, and I, I want people to uh, embrace that. But that struggle can be really fun as well. Uh, earlier, we, we saw that you got beaten. <laughs> By one second! One By one second! Let's go! <laughs> but we know By it's... By an MMA yeah. fighter who's 250 pounds. 
50 pounds. Yes, I, I, sh I, I admit I was, I was shamefully beat and I, I, may, I may never recover. But we know it's just for fun. But if you're serious about it, yeah. do you think you'll beat him <laughs> any day? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You hear that, AJ? I'm coming for you. You, uh, you mark my words. No, we'll, we'll, we'll find something. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to let him go that easy. Yeah. You make staying fit look fun. Is it, is it hard? Is it hard? It's extremely hard. It's extremely hard. Honestly, four years ago today, I could barely do one push-up. I could not do a push-up. I went running four or five minutes and I just hated myself. Um, but that was because I was comparing what I was feeling at that moment to other athletes and what they were achieving. Mm -hmm. um, but as soon as a, a very dear friend of mine taught me that the most important thing isn't to compare yourself with anything on a magazine, what anyone else is feeling. All you are responsible, and, uh, responsible for in that moment is to make sure that you do your best just in that moment. Don't think about two days from now, a week from now, a year from now. Four years ago, I couldn't do a push-up, I couldn't run. Now I'm training for my marathon uh, of, of, of finished first and all the obstacle course races that I've done. But that's just because I listened to my body. And if there's one piece of advice that I can give to anyone, uh, no matter how discouraged you are, just listen to your body and be accountable to yourself for right now. It's, it's going to be hard, but it's going to be amazing. Honestly, no person has ever walked out of the gym and said, gosh, I wish I didn't do that. You know, the struggle is there, but afterwards, you're doing such wonders for your body. If you could only see what's happening on the inside, uh, it, it's the best decision that you can do is to, to invest in you. Don't invest in anything else, just invest in you. I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> what makes an Under Armour ambassador different from other brand ambassadors? What I've realized uh, with Under Armour and what Under Armour has actually helped me realize is uh, in the past I've always just uh, worked out and done this for me. It's always been just about me. With Under Armour, um, I, I've seen what all of this is for, for what it, it really can be, and that's people. Under Armour is about people. Under Armour is about making sure to build awareness um, throughout the entire community, not just if it's women's campaign or cancer awareness, but just to, to teach people and inspire them, really inspire them, even if they're the underdog, especially if they're the underdog, to let people know that they are here and that we're doing it together. Under Armour is not just uh, something that you put on your back. I'm sure that's uh, what, put, what we put in the stores, but the actual uh, belief and the battle cry of Under Armour is uh, the community that's building to help each other and to push each individual to be the best that they can be and that's the best thing that you can do for yourself is to challenge yourself and to discover yourself. The, uh, El, uh, how important it is this uh, to wear compression garments for the new world? Compression is amazing. Um, uh, I've actually, Under Armour taught me about compression mainly because of circulation. Um, as you're evolving as an athlete or, or, or anyone who's going to the gym, um, it's, we do put a lot of pressure on our bodies. That's, that's, uh, it's, it's pressure that our bodies are still learning how to, how to cope with and how to evolve with, um, anything with high impact. Uh, we need to give it the most help that we can, not just with nutrition, but also with what we wear, the support. Honestly, I, I go through a pair of shoes every two months. Compression wear is, is amazing because um, it helps the circulation, and circulation is key. With anything that you're doing, whether it's from yoga pilates to MMA uh, to uh, a triathlon, compression um, uh, allows uh, proper circulation of the blood and oxygen in your body. And when you're in that trying circumstances, as you are trying to push past uh, and push yourself uh, athletically or physically, it needs the proper nutrients. Your blood, your oxygen, it carries all the nutrients to your body that allows it to perform as efficiently as it possibly can. So compression wear, absolutely. I think what you wear is actually really, uh, really important. You need to be able to feel comfortable and feel like yourself and not feel conscious uh, but feel free and that's what I mean I love this threadborn stuff honestly it feels like I'm not wearing anything it's so light and it, it it just I feel like me I feel completely untying down unhinged and just I feel like I'm ready I'm, I'm being propelled forward thank you very much thank you guys so much for everything okay. thank you Take care.